Welcome to Pothead Parent, where we're not only packing lunches, but packing bowls. Just a mom and dad, maybe some of their cannabis-loving friends, sharing the ups and downs of parenting while being so much fucking more thanks to Mary Jane. Not sure what all that means? Neither do we. So let's grab our favorite piece and let's see what happens. This podcast is brought to you by Funkaway Extreme Odor Eliminator. Ho, ho, holy fucking shit. What is this? <laughs> I think it's our new favorite piece, Santa. What the fuck is this? The student glass gravity oh infuser. God. I'm not flying my sleigh tonight. No, not and if chance. you, I think, yeah, I think one of the elves are going to have to. No elves on this one. How does this thing work? Light this up. Well, the nice part is, is this kind, or this came with the G pen, the higher G pen. You go ahead and take the lid off right there. You heat this some bitch up. Right. Well, wait. We gotta turn it on, bro. So it's cool as it comes with a nice little battery. Hold that down. Yeah. So it's not completely charged, but I'd say it's been we've been using it pretty consistently. This isn't the first time we smoked out of it. Today. Yeah. I mean, tonight we've been consistently using it, and it stayed pretty charged. I'd say. And it's for cold having... as balls out here too. It's yeah. like 40 degrees. My balls are in my fucking stomach. Oh my right god. Now. Ew. You want to know how Vegas was in the winter time? We're giving you Vegas in the winter time because <gasps> we're outside and it's the fucking winter time. I know, and it's fucking cold. I thought it was going to be warm in Las Vegas. Like, it's supposed to be warm it in is Las during the Vegas. Day. Not at nighttime. Just the desert. Nothing retains heat. I wasn't signing up. For, I Well, like, I didn't know I signed up for this, but the fact of the matter is you actually, like, told us, you don't, we don't need any coats. Yeah, I did get rid of all of our fucking Asshole. coats and our hats and, and our And I was like, I really think we, we should left. pack some more coats. As you can see. And he's like, no, breath. we don't. All right, so All right, you so go ahead and grab some this, concentrate. How do you get this thing, uh, started here? You go and turn. Santa needs to derobe. I feel like the Santa from uh, Home Alone is giving the Tic Tacs. He's like, oh, hey, kid. Everybody's, everybody's got to get something from Santa Claus. No, I feel like it's Christmas Story, the one with the gross fucking Santa. Ralphie? We actually stayed uh, a couple houses yeah. down from that house uh, when Jackson had surgery, which is I actually know. quite interesting. Right? Jackson had surgery. In I heard Cle- he's selling so, the house. Funny fact of the day, that house is in Cleveland, Ohio. Um and it's actually up for sale right now, isn't yeah, it? Literally. Yeah, literally. Ralphie, the Christmas story. Um, that house is up for sale. We live, we stayed literally three houses down from You're it. You're such a dork. This You're is from turning our friends such a at, fucking dork. I have to get my dad facts You're straight. This is dad. from our friends at Student Glass. We met them at MJ BizCon. Um, they are great people. They actually sent us this piece um, to use, to demo, and to educate you guys on along with us. So yeah, this so is this one of the first couple times we're using this along with the... Um, higher g pen which is a whole separate setup but this thing fucking smacks yeah so really cool is it comes with like your little note card it lets you know on temperature so it's colored the um little dots here will change color depending on the temperature that you want it at the biggest benefits with this are the terpenes that we talk about so terpenes are where your high is going to be where the flavor is going to be where the smell majority of like weed is going to be and a lot of people don't realize that but pretty much the lower the temperature you burn this at the more taste you're going to have you might not get as much thc now you could burn this thing in an extreme temperature get a lot of smoke you know look like you're hitting a vape pen like a fucking teenager but it's going to taste like it's burnt i like it and she likes it too somewhere in the middle right in the middle of the meat where you get the flavor um, but you're also getting the high as well so Right. She'll fire this thing up, and it's Just simply a I believe double the click right here. technical term is it's the world's first infused 360 gravity bong. That's I'm wild. probably off on a couple of words, but this thing is no fucking joke. I enjoy it. And so it if you beeps. follow us and pay close attention, we may or may not have one or two of these in our Santa goodie, ba- goodie bag to give away. I know. So they Student were Glass so just generous. hooked us up um, and hooked you guys yeah. up. And I'm about to get fucked up. So <laughs> let's hang out one second here. Are we good? Flip this on, bitch. <laughs> You're such an... <laughs> let's see how long he lasts. Dude, don't waste it. <laughs> <coughs> Go, you gotta flip it. Go. Get it, Dan. <laughs> Mama's got one. So, this is gonna be crazy. So, all gotta you gotta wait, bro. Is wait for this to fill up. And then you flip it. 
Oh, my God. And then it continuously, the smoke, how this works is when you smoke out of a bong, everybody made a bong out of a water bottle. I've done that. It burned my face a couple times as a kid. Um, the water's supposed to cool down the smoke that's going into your mouth. If you've ever smoked out of a bong and forgot to fill it with water, it's fucking horrible. It's like hitting a goddamn exhaust pipe off of a car. This continuously cools the smoke and cleans it and allows it to come out where someone like me, if I inhaled this, I'd be on the fucking floor in my garage right now uh, begging for CPR, and I've had that happen twice. I almost blacked out. But this allows you, as you see by mama here, to smoke a good amount without having to worry about it. Yes, bitch. And then when you need to get the Uh. smell away, um, you use (laughs) funk away, and that was not planned to rhyme. But this stuff here is the fucking shit. And actually... Your 420 brand here. Pop this yeah, why not? Out. There's a little left. Yeah, finish that shit out. This is specifically for your car. So this actually has your 420 uh, logo on the front of it, which is good. So you literally open up this little son of a bitch and just spray it around the car. This is actually pretty good for car seats, too. Yeah. Um, obviously, your kids don't smoke in their car seats, but, like, for boogers and shit and french fries and all the other It gets stinky gets in the back in seat. It's the shit disgusting. that happens in the back seat, oh. I want to know. You ever disassemble I, the car seat? You have quite a bit. And I feel like even after you clean your car, no matter what, there's always a fucking Cheerio stuck on my ass. Like, 100% of the time. Like, it's never been... Or, like, it's somewhere on me. I have, like, a goldfish or fucking, like, sticky or... I don't know. I just feel I like... I a booger the- on my pants. Really. No. <laughs> yeah. When I used to work a 9 to 5, I'd consistently no, go into work with disgusting. shit on my pants or boogers because I would leave. Jackson would run up to me and cry, <gasps> and he'd put his face right in my crotch, I and I would him. have a fucking mark there all day. Zeus used to do that, our dog. Yeah, but he's a dog. Yeah, I know. I go to, yeah, I, yeah, actually, baby. that's what it was. We had the dog Jackson. and we had the baby, and I'd go to work with literally boogers and snot and the fuck. Who else knows what I I mean? know. The backseat oh gets stinky. God. The car gets stinky. But I seriously, feel like this stuff, playing- where can you spray this? So this specifically is for if you're hotboxing a car. So the other night, um, we actually uh, smoked out the car, sprayed it down, and it works very, very, very well. And the other stuff you can spray on, like, um, well, I mean, hockey bags I, and shit. Well, Sports gear, shoes. Uh, they have laundry detergent. They, they have do. the beads. They have the spray. Like the continuous spray, I'm a fan of because it's nice. Like when you're cleaning the house, works for diapers, poopy diapers. Right. Spray it right on them and it literally goes away. There's nothing worse Pets than a off. shit baby diaper. That's when you walk Work in someone's house here. and you can smell a shit diaper. It's usually in the garbage can. That ain't fucking good. I've done this a bunch where I hmm. took this bottle actually and sprayed it on there and it went right away. What other stinky places are in your house? We had a, we had a friend redo We're his bed, uh, bathroom. We're going to have room. It's going to be gross and be like a teen, like, boys room. Like, yeah, I could have used this stuff way back in high school. Fucking, yeah, Except we ew. used Axe body spray. Remember, <laughs> you could like smell it when you were in the like <laughs> hallway in high school. We used to fucking, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we used to call it an axe bomb. What? And you would literally, it's hazing now, but you would literally find somebody in the hallway, you know, typically your friend, and yeah. hold them down and soak the shit out of them in axe. Like, we really? probably just gave people cancer, like, not knowing it, but that stuff was 110%. Like, I'm learning, I am starting to learn, like, a lot of, like, things, I don't know. We just need to be careful with the things that we're constantly buying and inhaling and taking yeah. in. You know what That's I mean? That's the importance of stuff like this. Like, if you if you don't have something like this, not even to this extent, but, like, you look like you're smoking crack when you're smoking dabs. People don't know what that is. Like, you right. look like you're literally about to shoot heroin or you're smoking crack. It could be very scary for some people. Right. You spend the money, you invest the money in something like this. It's very easy to clean. They give you a cleaning kit. Um, we're actually going to do a demo of cleaning this thing, too. 100%. And how to clean the G-Pen as well. But to empty it, you literally unscrew the top and you get it out. But the quality of smoke you're going to get is bar none compared to anything else. Because a lot of the time, using your own shit, you're burning it off before it even gets in you. You're not even tasting it. But Make if you're sure spending you money... Make sure you know where you're getting your concentrates are, too. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you know where you're buying like anything that you're putting into these pieces. Because... A, you don't want them to break because they're quite expensive. This actually has a 10-year warranty on it, I read earlier, too. I right. can't imagine if it's if you break it, but if a piece stops working, I believe, there's like a 10-year warranty on this thing, which Boom. is fucking Over. crazy. Over. On a gravity bong like this. Over. It's insane. But if you want to be able to get the most out of your smoke, out of the wax, the taste, um, 
this 100% is the way to go. We'll have a link to it on our website. And again, they gave us two of these to give away, which I still can't believe. They showed up in the mail. I'm like, yeah, something wrong here? Like, we yeah. all good? They yeah. gave us two to give away. So we, we met them at MJ do, BizCon. Yeah, they were great. That's actually where we met Mike Tyson, too. Well, they were um, at that. He they was were at there. the launch. They were launching Mike Tyson's um, student glass piece. So it's got a red boxing glove up top, a red boxing glove on the bottom. Same thing. Um, but he was literally at a table just like this, and we were literally smoking weed from across each other. It was wild. Yeah, if you jump on our Instagram, I think it's the first pick video saved on there. Um, but it was crazy. Yeah. And then the whole team there from Student Glass was great. They gave us demos on all of all of the products and how everything's you know yeah. supersedes everything else. But, I mean, you smoke this thing and you get stoned, and, I mean, there's no comparison. It's pretty... Uh, <laughs> It's pretty simple, but I think um, we need to get after it a little bit more yeah, and take a break up. here for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get some water. We're gonna light this thing up, and then uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, let's light this up. This podcast is brought to you by Funkaway Extreme Odor Eliminator, and we're back. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Anything else I'm forgetting in the Happy Holiday category? But there's a ton I'm sure we're a missing. Lot, but, um, we know it's going to be a very happy time for a lot of people, but also a 100. very stressful time. So us being the pothead parents, we're going to talk about, we're going to kick us off talking about the stressors of uh, the holidays. So for sure. um, I come from a divorced family uh, with a lot of cousins, aunts, uncles, brothers, stepsisters, anything you can imagine. And I used to get carted around town everywhere. But you had a small family, right? Well, I mean, it was just my parents and my grandparents and then my uncle. And, I mean, I don't have any cousins or anything. My mom's straight off the boat from Columbia. So True. we just, I've never had, like, those big Christmases with, like, your cousins and, like, your aunts and your uncles and, like, none of it. No. We, we until I met times. Until I met you. And then it was, like, one year or two years and, like... It was wild. We we had to go all over fucking Buffalo in order to Western New York. Yeah, Western New York. Western New York. Yeah, like you hit up the South Towns, North Towns, and then the city. At some point, I feel like all to please everyone in your fucking family. It was outrageous. Just took the joy out of literally everything. Like you'd be miserable on Christmas. You'd be miserable on the holidays. And And then then it's like you had it in my parents. It was a lot. I would. Start my Christmas. I would start my Christmas literally at no, sorry, Christmas Eve at my dad's house in the morning. Then I would have to go back to my house to change, come back to their house to go to my aunt's house, then leave my aunt's house to go to my stepmother's parents' fun. house. Then Sounds I would have like to leave so my stepmother's fun. parents' house to go see her. <laughs> then I would leave her to go to my mother's house to be there for Christmas morning, then go back to my house. Yeah, fuck shut the fuck up, that. Derek. Forget it. I'm not done yet. Um, and then come back that. there to do the other step side of the family's house. Fuck And you that. wonder why I'm not a fan of the holidays. Yo, fuck the... Uh-huh. Like, I'm over, like, the Christmas bullshit. I feel like we're all kind of over it. We're not doing not... the whole holiday thing anymore. No, people are doing the holiday thing. But it's they're just doing not it with the... that in their own families. Like, they're just, yeah. like... Doing whatever the fuck they want nowadays. I really think that. I feel like we're just trying to do whatever makes us happy and what makes us not stressed out anymore. Because it's already fucking stressful. Like, money is fucking stressful right now. Like, groceries? Are you fucking... Yeah, are you Trying to do a magic trick for you didn't work. Are you kidding me? Oh, we might as well fucking buy children. our own cow. It's getting I'm, outrageous. I'm buy a cow in Las Vegas? I mean, I really just think we need to just stop drinking milk because the more I'm reading about it, isn't necessary. Yeah, aren't we but, the only species that like drinks another species milk? Yeah, that's what I understand. Really and like when you really disgusting. think about it, it's gross. But I think it's just yummy. Is that gross? That's gross. People are gonna think yeah, I'm gross. That's why it's but so I like fun. um like I've been getting like oat milk. I really love hemp. Milk. Now, this is actually a hemp blunt wrap, which is a controversial topic we'll come to in a minute. But yeah. hemp milk? Have I drank that? Probably. Yes, you have. She, or makes, no. she makes me all the shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm eating anymore. Well, yeah, I just have gotten to that point that I just make you do things. Are you literally rolling a blunt? I'm old school rolling a blunt with my fingertips. So, Yo, are those your new faves? Um, the Twisted? 
twisted or my face, twisted. but this is not a twisted. I'm no? sorry, I forgot them at home, but I had to buy it off brand. But I love twisted. Um, <laughs> so there is a big debate right now, actually, from blunt smokers. There's not many blunt smokers out there. Um, a blunt is technically a cigar that you gut and take the insides out and use the wrap to smoke. Well, you could get the wraps now. You can go to the gas station and just buy the wraps. Correct. But there's blunt wraps, there's blunts, and then there's hemp wraps. So there's a big argument. Are you technically a blunt smoker for smoking hemp? No. I disagree because no. I smoke both. I like no, both of them. it's a hemp wrap. You are smoking okay, a hemp wrap. You don't even wrap. smoke either of them. I, but I hemp would, wraps, though. they have no nicotine and no tobacco in them, I'd just rather cute. smoke out of this guy. But there is no... So pretty. Um, there is no high like smoking off of a blunt because you get that high off the nicotine, too. So, But, yeah, I, am an, I like to smoke my joints. Yeah, so you blunts. are smoking from a hemp wrap. It is not a blunt. A blunt is if a blunt. It's not a fucking blunt. Don't make I'll me argue. leave this podcast to go to the gas station to buy a fucking cigar and gut it because I will. I know, but so then you would be smoking a blunt then, not right now. Quick question: real tree or fake tree? <sighs> fake. I oh, I love the smell, but I feel like there's well, so many candles house, and shit out there yeah, that you like can get that smell exactly like a fucking Christmas tree. But, when have you ever and you don't have to deal with the fucking mess, the mess, smells- the fucking mess. Like it's just like, ev- it's everywhere. You walk and you are hurting. Agreed. Your feet hurt. I'd like to go back to your candle conversation here. They're worse when, than Legos. When have you ever? No. When have you <laughs> ever? I stepped on one and almost broke my fucking ankle. Why um, is it that our kids have like when they have, have like feet that like have like steel on the bottom? Because when they yeah. run on oh the Legos, God, it terrible. doesn't do anything yeah. to them. <laughs> but if I somebody, touch one, it hurts. That's so how they should torture people. They should make a prison cell full of fucking Legos <laughs> and just throw people in there. It was like that movie Saw when it was full of needles really and they just hard. threw the dude in there. That's a fucking It's movie. been quite a while. I mean, I'm not going to lie. We hit this way too many times before we smoked this show. Probably it like was a lot of fun. Of, um, saltless, uh, wax. <laughs> this is our Christmas party. This is our small business la, 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 Christmas la, la, la. party. Yeah, this is our small business veteran Latino woman-owned Christmas party. So. <laughs> Uh, it's just us. I'd like to thank everybody. And then what Snoop Dogg say, myself for all my hard work. <laughs> myself for, myself for building my own website. That's hilarious. Myself. Yo, Merry Christmas, bitch. Merry Christmas, honey. All right, let's go over favorite Christmas movies. What are your Ooh. top favorite Christmas movies? Ooh. All right, so obviously the Home Alone situation, but... It's not an not obvious. Everybody after likes three, because I don't know who the fuck or what the fuck happened after yeah, three. Yeah, whoever directed that, fuck you. <laughs> Yo, but <laughs> three's good. Two, two's the best, right? One is, is really good. Number two? What? Is that number, or, there's number two New York City? Yeah. Oh, I'm an OG Home Alone. You know, no. fucking after, uh, after shave on the face. No, okay, so I my I made my family is, go away. Wait. My question is, though, the old man. With the boots? Yeah. Why didn't he just ask this child all the time, like, hey, where are your parents? And I feel like he did, didn't he, at some point? I also feel But wouldn't you dig a little deeper if your child, like, if you just see. Do you realize how old Kevin McAllister was? How old was he in that movie? Like six? The first one, he was like eight, right? I don't know. Look it up. Look it up. We, we I'm need, also I can't wait for the day that we are like Joe Rogan, and we can be like, hey, look it up. Can you look it up? And then there's a screen. Yeah. I'm envisioning. I'm manifesting that shit right now. i here. I ripped the blunt right <gasps> just Favorite Xmas, Christmas movies besides Home Alone? No, just duh. Home Alone. That's it? Home Alone 2. There's not really any other like That's fucking like good my Christmas movies. Movie. Ventura and then Ace Ventura put the <laughs> like, you can't fucking do that. You didn't that. tell me to give you a top three. I just told you what a top three was. All right, I'll answer my own question since you don't want to answer me. Whatever. My favorite. I mean, the um, Home Alones, except after three. I'm no. a National Lampoon. Oh, uh, you're a big fan Chevy of those. Chase, big fan. Oh, Chevy Chase. Vegas love him. Vacation is one of my favorite, and I still watch it all the fucking time. And now that we live here and I know where these places I are, know. it's even fucking better. I loved that movie. It used to be on HBO all the time, and we would get it for some reason, yeah, and that like, was um, the shit. It would just be on TNT every day at some point. Me and my little brother Stop. would watch it. Totally inappropriate for our age, but we would watch it. <laughs> and I had never seen... The Christmas one until I met you. Did you know that? You haven't seen the Christmas one? Until I met you. 
fucking do. I'm sorry, Chevy. There's a lot of. This. Oh wait, but Bill Murray. Yeah, that's a whole other world for me. Yeah, We're gonna meet him one day too. He does I'm pop up in like that. random fucking places. I want him to come to our podcast and just be. And here I hate one to bring day. up the whole controversial Die Hard thing. <laughs> I don't even care if it's a Christmas movie. Die Hard? It shouldn't Never have been a it. movie. Like, it was Never just seen so it. horrible. I don't Never agree with it. it. I don't, was it released on Christmas Day or the, I think it was a Christmas party that the shooting in the building happened or some bullshit. I don't even care that much. I haven't even seen it. I don't even know. I've never seen it, so I don't fucking know. I know there's a huge argument against it, but I will say, Bruce Willis, another love of mine since, like, I was, I've had a crush on him since I would feel like, I don't know what movie I'd seen him in. When I was a kid, what movie did you see Bruce Willis in when you were a kid? Uh, Nothing. The astronaut. One. No. The fuck um, is that? Fifth Sense. No, oh, oh, Armageddon. Nice. Armageddon. Yeah, that was a good one. That was I a see good dead one. That he was had de- one. Didn't he have hair in, in Armageddon? He had hair in Armageddon. I don't no. Think I ever oh no. Bruce hair and hair. um, what you say? The Sixth Sense. Yeah. And no, what's that like sci-fi movie that my dad? The Fifth Element. Yo, that shit's the fucking shit. With the uh, you've never seen the Fifth Element. Oh, what? If I saw it, I'm horrible at names. If what? I saw it, I wouldn't know what it is. Are you Star Trek or Star Wars? Never seen either of them. I love it. We're just totally going episode. off track. Not even Christmas I have never version, seen an episode but fuck of Star it. Trek, it's our Christmas Star party. Wars, You're just invited. What? Why? Nothing against them. I just never got into Star Trek or Star Wars. You've never seen one of them? Your dad wasn't into them? No. What? Oh, your dad was a superhero guy. Yeah, he was into the Batman stuff. Yeah, that's I what never got into My Star dad was Wars, into Star Trek. Star Trek. I never got into any of that stuff. And he was in he wasn't like a diehard on Star Wars, like he would watch it, but Star Trek totally different. And I enjoy Star Trek way more. Yeah, right? Oh, that was perfect downwind too. That was nice. It smells fucking it good. Smell like good. it actually smells good. It doesn't smell like Febreze. It doesn't taste like Febreze. Well, like um, you don't taste anything. Febreze I feel like it's thick. It's like spraying like butter in the you fucking air. You ever put? Like you spray it, it's just like. <laughs> it's just so I played there. ice hockey when I was a kid, and like when you play ice hockey and you sweat in your ice hockey equipment, it smells like straight fucking piss. Like I'll just say it like what it kind is. Of piss? Like New York City street piss. No, like, like disgusting boy piss? urinal piss. Like in a boys' like bathroom the, like, in school. Um, like pee. The Bill Stadium. Like pee pee. Like trough pee. Yeah, like fucking gross ass ass pee-pee. That was the most we should ever talk about piss ever in our podcast ever again because that's absolutely fucking disgusting. But anyways, so your hockey equipment would smell like shit. You would literally, like, I remember our coaches would come in and be like, wow, you girls are really gross. I remember remember it was like a dirty twat in here. Ew, no, (laughs) we were children, you disgusting. Still a dirty twat. Twats. No, ew, ew. That's not what it is. Absolutely not. Do not spray this. Yeah, on you, on your. Anyways, no. Um, but spray it on your hockey better. equipment. Spray it on your lacrosse equipment. Spray it in your shoes. Football spray it on your in your fitness cleats. shit. Because I love like okay. So like I put them in my um spin shoes now, and I like the fact too because if you do a little dookie duke in the bathroom and, and it you don't smells, use a fan. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and you just throw that guy there. We're out of the toilet. Jeepers, creepers. Er. And these beads are really cool colors. When I get high and just stare at them, they're also fun to watch. <laughs> what? Look at what? them. Pick it up and just watch them slime around each other. It's a good old time. Don't knock the whole, don't knock the whole table over here. Yo, they smell so good, though. But you can actually get that. Um, we have a code, Pothead Parents 15 So if you go to their site, we'll have the link on our website, too. Yeah, um, you can actually pick some of this stuff up. They're actually in Walmart, Amazon, uh, a bunch of other places too. They're all over the place, and their mascot's a skunk, which is I fucking love hilarious. It. Um, we actually made a, a skunk appearance. That's on our page. Check one of our posts. It's kind yeah. of in the middle of the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great guys. Back to Christmas, real quick. Um, oh shit! How did you find out Santa Claus wasn't real? Santa Claus? Yeah. Hmm. I just recognized that my mom's handwriting was. The tags are like the two it's and Santa's, but like it was like I don't know. I feel like I was like ten. Oh, I don't remember what age I was. Eh. No, maybe around there. Right? Yeah, mine was the stocking giveaway. It was the names and the tags and shit. Um, 
it was the same handwriting that my oh. dad had. And I was like, hmm, I know this handwriting. I can, and I started yeah. putting two and two together. I just so. remember that feeling of, like, running down the stairs, right? And you, like, have the, like, stockings there. Oh, and I remember seeing the Spice Girls CD just right there. And my brother had Will Smith the CD. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. Welcome to Miami. The, fuck my. Bonito, Miami, Miami. I don't even know if that's correct Spanish, but it is. <laughs> I think that song went like platinum, didn't it? Good for you, Will Smith. Good for you, good Will for you. Smith. I'm it's good a good song. I actually you. heard it not too long ago somewhere in Vegas. You know, because you walk through. Yo, I'm Vegas, sorry, but it's a good fucking a song. Fucking great I would song. still, I would still like getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Oh. Na, 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 so na. how did you find out Santa wasn't real? <laughs> well, Derek found out Santa wasn't real because um, my dad tripped over my dog on the way down I the stairs with the right presents. Tags. Oh yeah, the tags. But that wasn't like the that was the giveaway. Hell yeah, I saw oh. it. I was like, Damn, actually, I actually heard that's Santa my mom. almost trip and fall down the stairs and break his neck, and that's how I realized. Okay, well here we go. And then I knew they were lying to me, so then I understood to learn you how, to, how my out. parents lied. And then I could tell when they were lying, oh, so yeah, I knew. Yeah. yeah, it's just, you know, it is what it is. But I was not what a you do kid to kid. lie. I did not. I'm scared of lying. Like, well, that there's a lot of studies, not studies, but like a lot of people are scaring their children <laughs> into lying. What do you mean? I don't know how to explain it. Oh, like when you're extra like over them and like. Yeah, they're so scared they're yeah. just going to give you their first answer to get you like. Away from them. Right. Which is like teaching them to lie. But, right, right. So, no, I, I mean, that. speaking of lying, do like, do you tell your kid Santa Claus is fake? Do you not tell him? Do you threaten to take gifts away or call Santa? Like, I, I pulled up the fucking hotline well, what do you for Santa do the other without day. Santa? Uh, what do you mean, what do you do without Santa? What do you do without Santa in that case? It's kind of a redundant question because Christmas is always there. Like, it's you're, you're not going to not have Santa. Right. But, like, but, do you threaten your kid and say, I'm calling Santa Claus if you don't cut the shit? I did it the other day. I called the 603 52, whatever the fucking number was. It's on my page. Um, Jackson's head whipped. He's like, son of a bitch. You called him. Fuck. I don't know. Then Gavin's just like, Gavin's just like, go ahead, fucker. Yeah. Call him. Gavin's like, what's up, Call, call him. This shit's bullshit. Tell him to come over. That's how Gavin yeah. is. Yeah, He'll look at you. He goes, no. Santa, <laughs> fuck that bitch. Yeah, Santa, sure. No. He doesn't give a shit about them. <laughs> He literally is the most beautiful, adorable little boy. But man, he just looks at you and is fucking just like, sass, bro. Um, fuck you. Okay. Fucking sass. But and it, it's hilarious. It worked for like two seconds. But we also, so Jackson, <laughs> his birthday's the day after Christmas. Oh, so this is God, actually a tough for topic for me. us and everybody well, out there that has. It was his birthday, but you know what I mean. Well, no, there's a lot of people that have kids with themselves so at their birthdays you know, on Christmas Eve. It's on Christmas. Um, what do you do for your kid? Like, you have to give them two separate days, right? You can't just right. give them gifts on Christmas. Say, oh, this is for your birthday, too. Like, I hate that. My I brother like that had that, too. His birthday was, like, on the 20th. And then, you know, now we have Jackson's that's, like, on the 26th. And, yeah. It's been painful, too, because I feel like this... I cried. We went to... um. The Hallmark Enchanted, right? That was a good time. That was great. It was so Beautiful. cute. But that was our kids' first Christmas, like real Christmas moment. Yeah, like they're I walking in crying. Like, oh, wow. Like they like, saw the I trees, crying. the lights. They everything. were like, like Jackson was sick. Gavin was sick. On top of the fact that it was COVID and <laughs> surgeries and right this now. and that. And then it just gets to a point you're just like, wow. My son is turning three on the 26th, and this is his first real fucking Christmas where he's going to actually, like, see a Santa on. and un- under- not he understand He does not it, like Santa. He freaks out. But now get to, like, see these things that we got to see. Like, yeah. COVID fucked a lot of kids up, and I am so, I feel so fucking bad for our children. No joke. I think there's a lot of kids that don't know how to communicate. They, you, they're like, they were kids that were caged, and I let them out of a cage, and they're like, ah! they're like fucking yeah. rabid animals. Like, yeah. I get it. It's like, we got to teach yeah. our kids how to communicate and fucking share. It's totally and different all world now. Shit. Like, it's, 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 I mean, I, I don't know. It's wild. Do you remember picking completely left field? Do you remember, <laughs> um, Picking out, like, your Christmas wish list with, like, your grandparents or your parents. My Nana would literally, and you knew it was coming, too. You're like, oh, yeah, dinner's over. Here it fucking comes. Yeah. You'd be sitting there, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's the fucking magazines in the newspaper stack. And I was like, yes. Yeah. Then there comes a Sharpie, and you're just like, ee, ee, 
fucking circling everything. Yo, I just everything. knew I wasn't going to get everything. The satisfaction, so though, of, like, you like going like thing. this, like, licking your finger and fucking, like, flipping all the pages. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nowadays, our son just goes up to the computer screen and goes, I want this. I like that. I want I this. I don't know. Well, I had so fun, fun picking anymore. out the, like, gift. I went on Melissa and Doug's site they because really cool they're stuff. great. I, like, you go in there fucking, no joke, mommies and daddies or whoever, like, aunties, grandparents, whatever. You got to buy some shit for your, like, kiddos in the family. They have a great sales section where you can literally buy everything and anything that they have that, like, the make-believe stuff, whatever. And Jackson, like, was going through and actually picking things out that he wanted. Mm, no. That was hilarious. Mm, yeah. No. He's amazing. Yeah. It's crazy just watching the kids interact, but let's light this thing up again real quick again. and then we'll take a break. Oh, yeah. Let's turn to light this up again. Okay. We're going to take a quick little break, light this thing up. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Funkaway Extreme Odor Eliminator. If you just saw the glob she just put in there. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to uh, be... Here I you am going to sleep till the fucking noon tomorrow. Here it comes. Way, you ready? While she's, lighting, while she's getting this thing heated up, um, we just want to thank everybody again for tuning in. Yeah. Um, stay tuned on YouTube. Set notifications to be notified. We have a lot of podcasts right now in the works that are going to be done very soon. And we got a lot of cool footage coming. Um, but a lot more education pieces, especially with student. Again, we're going to do the two giveaways as well. This is going to kill me, so I'm going to hit Ready? this and let Mama take over. Yes, sir. Go. Here you go. Here you go. Chuck, Chuck. I feel like we're like kids again. <laughs> <coughs> but again, make sure to <coughs> tune in because we're going to be giving away <coughs> two of these. Um, <coughs> the whole setup. These things are like $600 retail. Which is huge. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die here in a minute. But uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Pothead Parent Official. YouTube is Pothead Parent. Uh, we're on iHeartRadio and Spotify as well. We've got a lot of cool shit coming up. And again, thank you so much to Student Funk Away for everybody for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you next time. Love you all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Keep the change, you filthy I don't animal. Know. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> <laughs>